Hi there, Christina here from the Pilates Barn. So we're going to break down uh, move number five and that is rolling like a ball. So rolling like a ball is the first rolling um, movement in the repertoire. Uh, I think it's best to start kind of seated like this to just establish um, a good knowledge of pelvis. So here I'm seated. I'm sitting on my sit bones, I can feel my sit bones in the ground and I can touch my uh, tailbone uh, with my hand. So my tailbone clearly is not touching the floor because I'm sitting uh, like so. Now from here I'm going to pull in my feet ever so slightly and um, it's going to nearly feel uncomfortable to sit with a straight back in this position. And then from there, I'm going to tilt my pelvis back until I'm feeling I'm sitting on my tailbone and my sit bones, I can touch my sit bones here. So I'm pulled pelvis, um, tilted pelvis back and I'm rounding and C-curving my spine, scooping in my belly as much as I can. And then from there, I'm going to lift my feet off the ground. So from there, I'm balancing on my tailbone. Now, how small you can make your ball is really up to your balance, your strength, your control, uh, your mobility. So don't focus on that to start with. Focus just on being able to balance on your tailbone uh, with the C curve. You're scooping in, you're sucking in the belly. Your front here is open. We're not curling and punching and making this, we're relaxed and open in the front. My lats are on, I'm connected to my powerhouse, I nod my chin forward and I'm balancing on my tailbone. So from this position, easiest position in my opinion is to have your hands behind your knees uh, when you're starting to learn this move. As you progress, you can bring your hands to the front or down holding your heels or even having a fake ball, which means you can't push your into your hands into your, yeah, push into your hands with your legs. So when I'm balancing here on my tailbone, uh, keeping everything open, scooping, and nodding my chin forward, the aim is that I'm going to slowly roll back. Uh, my head never touches the ground, so I'm only coming to my shoulder blades as I roll down, and then I'm coming back up. Doing this ball, we are never changing the, uh, the, the spine, say. So we are not trying to sit up and fling back, nodding my head back to, to get the momentum to go back, nor when I come up are we trying to sit up and straighten it. We're staying in that ball with as little um, movement as possible. We're simply staying, rolling, coming back up, balance. So this is very much balance and control. So we are starting like so, nodding, keeping everything connected and open, squeezing my belly, I inhale, roll to my shoulders, exhale, I come back up, I'm balancing on my tailbone and I'm coming back into that position. I'm not sitting up, straightening and then coming back. That's a little bit of a cheating and that's using counterbalance. So we are not using counterbalance. We are using center balance, so we're connecting with the center, and as we do that, we will find that balance point. So, often I say to people in Pilates, if it easy, feels easy for you, you're probably doing it wrong, because uh, it's not, nothing really is, is easy. And the better you get, the harder it becomes, because the more you are able to um, pinpoint and um, dissect that you're doing everything correctly. So it's, uh, it's, it's challenging. <laughs> so we're scooping, we're rounding. If I now feel I got that well and I can do that, I can bring my hands to my shins. Again, rolling to the shoulder blades, back up and scoop. Do you need to see I'm going backwards rather than upwards as I come up? Now again, you can make it harder, grabbing onto the heels, scoop, back up, balance. Again, harder, make a fake ball, so you're holding, you're keeping your feet close, back up, and we skip. So from there, balancing, holding. At all times, starting and stopping on the tailbone, 
and never let your sit bones actually touch the floor. Staying open, lengthening, knocking that chin forward, breathing, focusing, it's brilliant. And you get a nice massage on your back, up to your shoulders, and there you go again. So, little TLC for the body. Well, all of Pilates is TLC for the body, to be honest. So, give that a go. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, in the meantime, you stay happy, healthy, and strong.